This new time still tracking that developing news. Jury deliberations continue today in the trial of a Pawtucket father charged with murder. If George Zapina is convicted, prosecution wants him to spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm News reporter Steph Machado working the story live in Providence. Well, we are in verdict watch day two here at Providence Superior Court. The jury deliberating whether George DePina killed his daughter. They are deciding whether he's guilty of first degree murder, but they have lesser charges as options. Seeking a 12 jurors are deliberating for a second day in the murder trial of George DePina, a Pawtucket father accused of killing his daughter Alita back in 2013 in Pawtucket. The jury needs to decide if the state provided enough evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he dealt a blow to her abdomen, causing a perforated bowel that killed her. The state's evidence during the two and a half week trial included videos of DePina whipping Alita and yelling at her to eat food, even asking her at one point, do you want me to kill you? There is no doubt that he premeditated. He had that intent in his mind. When he did that final blow to her, he intended that blow that killed her. The defense says there's no evidence he did cause that final blow, presenting a witness who claimed she saw the aftermath of a bike accident two days before Alita died. Maria Cruz the defense does agree that Tapina is responsible for to failing Alita. to get timely Three. medical treatment for his daughter before she died. But his attorney says that's manslaughter, not murder. I submit to you that George DePina is criminally responsible for the death of his daughter. It's just not the charge they want. It's not the charge of murder. And the jury does have the option to convict on the lesser charges of second degree murder or involuntary manslaughter if they acquit on first degree murder. Again, those deliberations going on right now in Providence Superior Court. If there is a verdict this afternoon, we will bring you that, of course, on WPRI.com and tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.